Germany is reportedly set to begin large-scale deliveries of kamikaze drones to Ukraine, which have high autonomy in conditions of electronic warfare and can effectively strike distant targets. As Bild writes, these UAVs have already been nicknamed Mini Taurus. They have modern systems that make them invulnerable to Russian electronic warfare systems and GPS jamming. He delivery of drones was also confirmed by German Defense Minister Boris Pistorius. The drones in question are attack UAVs from the Helsing Company, equipped with artificial intelligence technologies that provide them with greater autonomy in hostile environments with electronic warfare interference. These drones are compared to the Taurus missiles, which Chancellor Olaf Scholz has repeatedly refused to provide. The reports indicate that 4,000 of these UAVs have been ordered for Ukraine. Deliveries are expected to begin in December, with several hundred drones arriving per month. Some prototypes are already undergoing trials and improvements in real combat conditions in Ukraine's east. A key feature of these UAVs is their advanced software, which helps them navigate the terrain using various markers, allowing them to reach their targets even in challenging weather or on scorched earth terrain, as well as in conditions of electronic warfare. Once the UAV identifies the target and the operator confirms it, the drone can autonomously strike the target even if communication is lost. In addition, German drones have a flight range four times greater than that of conventional Ukrainian kamikaze UAVs, and are significantly cheaper than their Western counterparts. Bill does not disclose the exact cost of these drones, but the American Switchblade 600 costs around 100,000 euros, and the Russian Zala Lancet costs 35,000 euros. According to Pistorius, the Ukrainian armed forces will be able to effectively use these UAVs against key Russian military facilities, in particular command posts and logistics centers. Berlin may also consider implementing similar technologies in its Bundeswehr. In October, it became known that Germany would allocate billion-dollar aid packages to support Ukraine's defense efforts. By the end of the year, with the support of our partners from Belgium, Denmark and Norway, we will deliver another package worth 1.4 billion euros to Ukraine," said German Chancellor Olaf Scholz. Ракета вышла! Он за провода мы это! Сейчас подпускай! Прицел нашел! Работа! Работа! The European Union is considering imposing sanctions on China for sending weapons for the first time. The EU reportedly has convincing evidence of the supplies, according to Frankfurter Allgemeine Zeitung. According to the sources, the EU High Representative for Foreign Affairs, Josep Borrell, informed EU member states about the relevant intelligence data and called for decisive action. Borrell stated that the evidence was convincing and demonstrated the provision of lethal support to Russia. Now we must consider the full range of tools, including bans on doing business with Chinese companies, freezing assets and travel bans. But you also have to speak directly to China and make it clear. You have always said you want to remain neutral. You are not neutral. China is also not seeking peace. You are feeding the beast, he said. The news agency sources declined to elaborate on the intelligence findings. However, a senior diplomat referred to very serious reports from Reuters. At the end of September, the agency reported exclusively that a subsidiary of the Almaz-Ante Russian state defense company called Kupol 
had developed and tested a new long-range combat drone in China and aimed to establish mass production there for use in the war against Ukraine. This involved the participation of Chinese experts, cooperation between China and Russia. China claims to maintain a supposedly neutral position regarding Russia's war against Ukraine. However, Chinese companies continue to supply Russia with dual-use goods. Officially, no transfer of Chinese weapons to Moscow has been recorded. Recently, Ukraine's Presidential Commissioner for Sanctions Policy, Vladislav Vasyuk, stated that about 60% of foreign components found in Russian weapons on the battlefield in Ukraine originate from China. Media reports have also indicated that the West possesses evidence of Chinese companies secretly supplying weapons to Russia. This could signal a significant escalation of Beijing's involvement in the war in Ukraine. Meanwhile, Fabian Hinz, a research fellow at the International Institute for Strategic Studies, a defense think tank in London, said that if the Chinese government is aware of what is happening, it would be a significant development. If you look at what China is known to have delivered so far, it was mostly dual-use goods. What we haven't really seen, at least in the open source, are documented transfers of whole weapon systems, he said. Vladislav Vasyuk, Ukraine's presidential commission for sanctions policy told Reuters that about 60% of foreign parts found in Russian weapons on the battlefield in Ukraine came from China. According to Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, China is helping Russia prolong its war against Ukraine.